That is ugly. Darcy! Okay, let's try this again. Hey guys! What's up? It's your favorite bald hitty beach. Back at it again with another video. I swear, every time I come out with a negative Kylie review, she comes back with something that I like. It's almost like she's doing it on purpose. be doing a review on the Kylie 24k birthday collection because you asked for it and also because Kylie sent it to me. Will she ever stop trying to win my heart? I don't think so. Now I have to admit when I saw photos of this I was like wow this looks kind of cute. It looks kind of cute and it looks like it could work on everybody but we'll see about that. Why am I always so disheveled? Why? Can I get it together? My God. So this collection includes a palette with 24 eyeshadow shades, four lip shine lacquers, one lip serum, a highlighter, a body glow, all over gloss. Oh God, not the all over gloss. I'm scared. Look at that, what is that? What is this? Okay, hold on. Oh no, child. Oh, what the hell? and a liquid eyeliner duo. All right, so Kylie Cosmetics no longer has any complexion products. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna put all my regular, regular complexion stuff on, and then we're gonna get into the review. So I'm gonna start off with the old Kylie Cosmetics face primer. And I'm gonna use my Gucci foundation today, because I feel like being bougie. I don't remember if I like this color or not. It's kind of red, whatever. Where's my booty blender? It's kind of red, but whatever. So anyways, back to the collection. I think it's really interesting that this collection has not sold out. It's been out for over a week. I don't even know how long it's been. I've lost all concept of time, guys, I'm gonna be honest. The first half of August felt like two days. But anyways, this collection has been out for a while now and none of the products are sold out except for the signed PR package, which was $350 and obviously very limited. Whenever I do these videos, I always do a little bit of research and I look to see who else has done reviews on it. And you know who else has done a review on this collection? Nobody. More evidence that this brand has fallen off, as the kids say. Makeup is a lot less popular now in general, but I feel like something exciting needs to come out and like revive the makeup scene because everything just feels really dry right now. Next, I'm going to put on some concealer. This is the old formula of the Kylie concealer that doesn't exist anymore. So sad. A tragic death. Why do I keep doing that? Am I okay? That is not a straight line. I need to see a doctor. My motor function just gone. I don't know where it went. Okay, so today basically I'm gonna try and recreate the look that she's got going on here. We're gonna attempt it, okay? Keyword attempt. I'm not a professional. Zoom in a little bit more here for the eyebrows. Line that little brow. See that? See that right there? That's the base. That's what that is. You wanna carve it out. Carve that shit out, bro. Oh, snap! Yes! Yeah, that was looking real good. We're gonna fill it in ever so softly. It's gonna be a big ass brow. It's a big ass eyebrow. Oh my God, filling in the gaps here where God did not give me any eyebrow hair. I like my left eyebrow more than my right one. This one looks so funny half done. I should just leave it like this. And that's it, that's it for the brows guys. Your brows should look like sisters, not twins, okay? We're gonna blend now. Next, we're gonna put on some powder. Then, we're gonna get into the actual review. Oh, I forgot to put on contour, hold on. Contour and blush are a very important part of Kylie's look. I'm gonna put on this bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. Very, very pretty, but it's also their darkest shade, which is tragic, do better. And I'm also grabbing this blush from ColourPop. Everything that I'm using is gonna be in the description box. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so I'm pulling out the palette now, guys. It's got a lot of shades, 24 shades for her 24th birthday. Each one has a name. I'm not gonna say all the names because that's gonna take forever. But just so you know, they've got some interesting names. Like this one is called Make-A-Wish. All the eyeshadow 
eyeshadow names are birthday themed, so we have like birthday magic. Leo season, because Kylie is a Leo. Cheers to 24. Everything is 24 and birthday themed. So I'm gonna take the darkest shade in the palette, which is this shade down here that does not look very dark at all. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start carving out my lid. Can you guys see that? It's not super visible. It's a nice color though. Ow, oh God, oh God. Guys, this is hard. Especially since this is not anywhere dark enough for what I need. I feel like Kylie has this awful habit of only creating makeup that looks good on her. It truly is Kylie Cosmetics. Cosmetics for Kylie. So I'm actually gonna take this eyeshadow palette that I got from ColourPop recently and I'm going to use that to deepen what I've already got going on here. And the gold that she used, I think, I don't know, I think might have been certified gold. This one right here in the corner, I think I'm gonna apply Make-A-Wish first. Just as a bit of a base. And now I'm gonna put certified gold on top. I don't like the way it's going out with the brush, so I'm gonna use my fingers. That's a lot better. That is ugly. I'm gonna put on Go For Gold on top. This one is a lot more chunky and mixing them together really makes it pop more. So this one is gonna have like a ton of fallout. So Go For Gold has a lot more fallout than this one up here, Certified Gold. Cause this one is more chunky. So there's tons of gold fallout on my face right now, if you guys can see that. So if you want to use the gold shades, you're gonna have to do your eyes first. Okay, now I'm just adding some eyeliner to the look. I'm gonna put some lashes on and I'll be right back. Next on the agenda are these eyeliners. They're like liquid sparkly eyeliners. So this color is, this is called Made of Gold. And then this one is more pink and it's called Heart of Gold. And then we have the All Over Face Gloss. You guys know I'm not a fan of All Over Face Glosses. Oh God, the texture. <laughs> So that's what it looks like. The texture is really thick, which is what I don't like about Kylie's all over face glosses. It's just very thick and sticky. I do not want to put this on my face. I am gonna put on the highlighter though. So this is the highlighter. It is the Good As Gold highlighter. It's got the cute little 24 in there. I'm just gonna put on a little bit. Ooh, oh, oh, oh shit. That is extremely dramatic, but very, very cute. Gold is my color, so gold just looks good on dark skin tones. That's the rule. Those are the rules, I didn't, I didn't make the rules, it's just how it is. Reminds me of the one that Fenty came out with for their launch, but the one from Fenty felt a little bit more dramatic than this one. I mean, this one's still pretty dramatic, but like I could get away with just wearing this on a normal day. Then we have the lip products. So I'm gonna start off with this baby here, which is basically like a lip primer, I guess. Is it? Is that what it is? Kylie gave me a whole booklet of, of instructions, all that. It's a lip serum, so it is a Clear lip gloss formulated with real flakes of 24 karat gold. Wow, there's real gold in here, guys. Yeah, so it's got a bunch of oils in it. It's a lip serum to keep your lips moist. Ooh, smells nice. So this would be good to put on underneath those super drying Kylie lipsticks. That could help. And then we have these four lip shine lacquers. First color we've got is 24. So I'm guessing that these are gonna be quite shiny. Yes, quite shiny, yes. They're, they feel a little bit sticky, 
but we'll see when I put it on my lip. Next we have one time for the birthday, bitch. That is that is what this is called. Why are they so hard to open? Jesus. Mm, this one's kind of cute. Okay, so that is 24 and one time for the birthday, bitch. Then we've got this super duper light one. I don't think this is gonna work out for me, but it's called Tamor Life. Oh, snap. Oh, that is Ash City. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh God. If you're very pale, this would probably look good on you, but it would make me look like a crackhead. So we're not gonna put that one on. This is the darkest one and it's called Rare AF. We're gonna try this one. That's that right there. We're not just gonna put on a gloss, I feel. I mean, I guess we could. I don't think that would look very good. So I'm gonna line my lips with my brown liner. The lip serum is really helping my products glide on. I like that. And then I'm gonna put on a lipstick over top of it. So this is uh, the color Au Naturel from Kylie Cosmetics, but they don't sell it anymore. So I don't know why I'm telling you this. This is similar to the color that Kylie is wearing in the photo. That's why I chose it. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm liking this lip serum. I think if you complain about how dry the liquid lipsticks are, then definitely get the lip serum and this one right here and put it on before your lipsticks because this shit works. I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna change my shirt because I wanna put on the body glow. So hold on. Alrighty, so let's put Rare AF on top. This is the darkest color, remember? I like the Kylie Cosmetics lip products. I feel like that's her staple, that's her bread and butter, that's what she's good at. And then the last product is this one, which is the Body Glow. This is a liquid highlighter that you could use all over your face or body. That's what it looks like. Oh, that's an interesting texture. It's sort of like pillowy. Interesting. Wait a damn minute. Put on a little bit on the shoulder. Is that is that doing anything, <laughs> guys? Is this doing anything? Yeah, I look I look a little shinier, a little bit. This is the side without it, and this is the side with it. Okay, let me do it on my hand. Let me just rub it into my arm. Okay, it's a little sticky. Not that sticky, but a little bit. And it might just dry down eventually, but it's, I don't really see much of a difference, honestly. So, yeah. Okay, so what do I think of this collection? It's actually not bad. I don't think it's my favorite collection, but I actually think it's pretty cute. I think the eyeshadow palette had some good shades in it. The colors were pretty pigmented. The only gripe that I have with the eyeshadow palette, as usual with Kylie's eyeshadow palettes, is that they simply don't have enough dark neutrals. Like many people have pointed out, Kylie tends to just put out makeup that looks good on her or her sisters, as they all have the same aesthetic going on. So while there are some good colors in this palette and it is a very large palette with 24 shades you could have put some darker shades in there just saying I had to pull out shades from ColourPop in order to get the eyeshadow dark enough unacceptable the highlighter very cute I like it I'm shining it's nice I love the highlighter grab the highlighter it's super cute the lip lacquers I don't know about them I don't know about the lip lacquers as a set, just cause I wouldn't wear all of these. I would only wear two out of four of these. I feel like Tamora Life and 24 are better for lighter skin tones and One Time for the Birthday Bitch and Rare AF are better for darker skin tones. So I like how they did seem to think about that with the selection of colors. But again, like I'm not gonna use half of the colors in the set. So is there any point in buying this? That if they came separately, then that would be great, but they don't. So there are cute colors in here though. Eyeliners, again, not my thing, so I would not pick these up, but there's nothing wrong with them. They're nothing special either, but they're not bad. The lip serum, I like it. I like this. I think it's very functional. I think it's useful. It's got gold flakes in it. Everyone loves gold. I'm probably going to keep using this every time I put on my lipstick, so I would get this. The all over gloss, no. 
No, Kylie, stop making these. And the body glow might look good on lighter skin tones. Anyone is the color of my palm. It, it, it would look, oh. See, look, shows up very nicely. If you are a palm colored person, then I would suggest this body glow to you. But otherwise, like, I already look like the body glow. So why am I putting it on? My body naturally glows, darling. <laughs> and this makeup look is not that bad. I mean, the eyes are kind of, mm, kind of, uh, don't look at them too closely, but I tried. I enjoyed the lip products, I enjoyed the highlighter. I think it's a pretty decent collection. And a good start to the new relaunch. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you grab any of this stuff? Let me know. And let me know what else you guys want me to review in the comments down below as well. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is gonna be in two seconds, cause you're just gonna click one of these. And don't forget that I love ya so, 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 so much.